What's up everyone? This is Jerome and welcome to my YouTube channel GMAT TV and then this video I will give you the complete information about the order of operations of Indus rules so let's move to my small whiteboard okay guys let's start the complete information about the order of operations of Indus rules first is um, In the PEMDAS rule, we have P, so this is P represent as a parenthesis. Parenthesis, guys, it includes any grouping symbols. Um, just like a bracket or any kind of grouping symbols that involve in the problem, problem solving in mathematics. And the next is exponent. And the next is uh, multiplication and division. And the reason why I put the arrow in, the, in this uh, multiplication and division because uh, multiplication and division is you have to evaluate which occur first or which becomes first in Tagalog. So, kung sino man yung nauna sa kanila, in order of operation, siya pa rin yung unahin. Let's say for example, nauna si division, so, si division muna bago si multiplication. Okay? And then addition and subtraction is the same as the process of the multiplication and division. Like which they occur first, solving from left to right. Okay? And now, I have here a problem from the comment of my second video from Angela Otadoy. She want to know the exact answer of this problem. Okay. So now guys, you can pause this video so, so to try your own capability to solve uh, this problem solving and play back and this play back this video if you done to check the exact answer now if you're done so let's start to solve uh, first is now we have to check the PEMDAS rules first is parenthesis so we have a parenthesis so we have to solve inside the parenthesis first so that is 2 minus 8 that is negative 6 and then copy the parenthesis okay and now let's take if the, the parenthesis rule which is the parenthesis so we have a parenthesis here so in the order of operation, we have to solve from left to right. We cannot solve the times two to this parenthesis because time to, times two is comes from the right side. Okay. Now we have to uh, also number four cannot be uh, solved into the parenthesis because there's a positive sign which is in between the parenthesis and four. In algebraic expression method, which is in every number can be multiplied by one, so now we uh, we multiply only the parentheses. So we have to put the imaginary one here, okay? Since that it there's a sign, it's either positive or negative, okay? And now. Uh, or whatever whatsoever the sign here okay so now we let's solve since the algebraic method is say, says that uh, in every number can be multiplied by one so that's what we have to do now we have now we have to solve so positive one uh, times to the negative six uh, positive multiply by no negative and that is negative and one multiply by six that is six okay we don't need to copy the parenthesis because we already executed the parenthesis 
because the positive one is out of the parenthesis, outside the parenthesis. Okay, so we copy four. So where's the positive right now? The uh, this sign. Uh, this positive are already multiplied to the negative and that is negative a okay? so that's why we have negative 6 a okay? then p uh, so let's uh, to clean this first we have negative 6 Okay, now we check the uh, PIMDAS rules. Okay, the parenthesis. Okay, there's no parenthesis. How about exponent? There's no exponent. Multiplication and division. Now we have only multiplication. Okay, only. There's no division, only multiplication. Okay, and if you solve this, just be careful the sign of the each number in the left side okay because sometimes we forgot the sign okay so that is negative 6 multiplied by 2 that is negative 12 okay and 4 and now we have to use the order operation from left to right so that is, this is um, negative 8 so this is a positive so if you uh, for addition and subtraction always copy the greatest uh, always copy the sign of the greatest number which is number 4 is the smallest number than 12 okay since 12 are greater than 4 so we copy the sign uh, what sign in 12 okay that is negative okay and then so what is the answer? So negative 8 and then negative 7 that is negative 15. So this is the final answer. And thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And um, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you. God bless.